Welcome back to another Let's Read session with Ms. Ruchi Srivastava. Today we'll be reading the story, What's Alive? Written by Kathleen Wadner Zofield and illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott. Are you like a cat? You don't look like a cat. A cat is furry. It has a long tail and four legs. You have only two legs and no fur. But you can run and jump like a cat. Are you like a flower or a tree? You don't look like a flower or a tree. A tree is tall. Its green leaves grow high up in the air and its roots grow deep underground. A flower can have petals of pink or yellow or red. You have no petals and you will not grow as tall as a tree. But like a flower and a tree, you are growing. Are you like a bird? You don't look like a bird. A bird flies on feathered wings. You have no feathers and cannot fly. But a bird, a flower, a cat, a tree and you are all alike in one important way. You are all alive. Many things are not alive. A stone is not alive. Your bicycle, a book, the swings, a doll, none of these is alive. Do you know how to tell if something is a living thing or not? All living things are alike in certain ways. All living things need water and food and air. Living things use water, food and air to give them energy. They need this energy to grow and move. When a cat is born, it is small and is called a kitten. A kitten gets food from its mother. As the kitten grows bigger, it begins to lap up water and nibble on food from a bowl. It breathes air in and out through its nose. The kitten is alive and growing. Kittens and cats need food, water and air to give them energy so that they can run and jump and play. A baby bird hatches from an egg. It is called a chick. The chick's mother and father feed it. It breathes in and out through small holes in its beak. A chick is alive and growing. Chicks and birds use the energy from food and water and air to fly and hop around on the ground. Birds and cats are animals. You are an animal too. All animals are living things. Trees and flowers are also living things, but they are not animals. Trees and flowers are living things called plants. Plants cannot run or jump or fly. They do not eat or drink the way you do or the way a cat does. But they do need water, air and food. And they can move and grow. Trees and flowers begin as seeds. When they are still small, trees and flowers are called seedlings. The seedlings grow roots. Roots take in water and nutrients from the soil. The seedlings grow leaves. Leaves help the plants breathe in a special way. If you look at the underside of a leaf under a magnifying glass, you will see tiny holes. 
Plants take in air through these tiny holes. Green leaves also help the plants catch sunlight. Plants use the power of sunlight to make food out of air, water and nutrients from the soil. Plants use the food they make to give them energy. The energy helps them move. They do not run and jump, but they grow and grow. They bend their stems and leaves to follow the sun. All animals and plants are living things. Anything that does not need food or water or air is not a living thing. But what if you find a plant that is brown or dry? It will not grow anymore. It will not take in water or food or air. It cannot move except to blow in the wind. Is that a living thing? What if you find a little bird that has fallen from a tree? It lies very still on the ground. The little bird will never move again. It will not eat or grow again. Is the little bird a living thing? The dried plant and the little bird are living things that have died. All living things eventually die. That is an important part of being a living thing. A stone or other non-living things can never eat or grow. It never runs or jumps or moves on its own. A non-living thing cannot die because it has never been alive. Now you can go exploring. Walk through your house slowly. Then your backyard or the park. Look carefully at everything you see. Draw a picture of each different thing. When you are finished exploring, look at your pictures and see if you can tell which ones are living and which ones are non-living. For each picture, ask yourself these questions. Does this thing need food? Does it need water? Does it need air? Can it grow or move all by itself? If the answers to these questions is yes, then that is a living thing. When you have looked through your pictures, try sorting them into piles of living things and non-living things. Then separate the pictures of living things into plants and animals. Then hang the pictures on your wall or board. Whenever you see anything new, you can ask yourself, does it need food? Does it need water? Does it need air? Can it move or grow all by itself? Then you can add its picture to your collection. And that is the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed the story. If you did, don't forget to click on like and also share with your friends. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do so because soon I'll be back with another story. Until then, keep reading.